Hey guys, Mr. the Gumbra 94 here. Um, today, um, I have another episode of Battle Your Subs. If you guys are wondering why, uh, there's, like, a blank screen and, like, a picture is because, um, yeah, my mic decided to be staticky and screw up the whole entire introduction of my video. So, that means that, uh, yes, you guys will still be able to watch the video after this introduction. It automatically skips to where I start his team analysis. I'm using the same exact team as yesterday against Battle Your Subs, uh, uh, well, yesterday's episode of Battle Your Subs I had. If that video... I can't even remember. Right, anyways, it's the same exact team as I used yesterday. See you guys later. So now he has a Zangoose, a uh, Weezing, a Magnazone, a Noivern, a Breloom, and a Dawnfin. So I'm going to predict the Dawnfin lead. I'm, uh, instead of leading off... Well, let me think here. Uh... He's probably going to start off with his Dawnfin. I could lead off with Skarmory. Sorry about that. Um, I might lead off with Skarmory to try and get at my rocks. Or that. You know what? Yeah, I'll lead off with the Skarmory. So he actually leads off with uh, Weezing, which is actually... He might have Flamethrower on it. <clears throat> And I'm really not about to live that flamethrower life. So, right now, I think my best switching is going to be more than likely my Gudra. Because a, a lot of Weezings like to run flamethrower on them. And I know Weezing can take a lot of flipping hits. So, uh, let's see what he's going to do here. So, out into my Gudra. Yeah, I figured the flamethrower was coming. No problemo. <clears throat> so I don't really know like what he what he might switch out into. Um, I could just go for Dragon Pulse. I actually think that's actually like what I'm about to do. So I'm just gonna go for Dragon Pulse. Let's just see how much damage it actually does. The crappy thing is, is he might have Toxic, but I also do not want Skarmory getting hit by you know a flamethrower. I actually I lost with Skarmory because I was because I was predicting his uh, Dawn fan lead. So yeah, he has Toxic. I do outspeed it. <clears throat> no big deal. I'm gonna go for one more Dragon Pulse, and that whatever he brings in, it's still gonna do a crap load of damage too. So yeah, out into oh no, he named his uh, he named his freaking Dawn fan Ed. Let's not. Control yourself, John. Control yourself. Okay, so I'm going to predict the uh, Stealth Rocks. I'm immediately just going to go straight out into my... Uh, no problem, I don't really care about the knockoff. That's okay. Um, I had a feeling I switched out because of the Ice Shard or like the Rocks. So now I know that this thing carries knockoff. Actually, I had no idea that this thing actually carried knockoff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for the uh, Stealth Rocks. Get, the, get my Rocks up on the field. And I might actually go for, hmm, I don't really want to go for a Whirlwind right now. So, the Ice Shard might be coming in again, so out into Azumarill now. Knock off. Eh, Citrus Berry's gone, no big deal. That doesn't really benefit me from anything. Okay, so, uh, I... I think I'm just going to go for uh, a Waterfall. I think his Dawn Fan really can't do much damage to me anyways as is because Azumarill is so bulky for one. Uh, Ice Step Attacks aren't very effective. He can go for Earthquake, but Azumarill would be able to take an Earthquake and it would easily KO it. So Waterfall should do some nice damage to uh, Guilty Spark, his uh, Magnazone. So now I'm probably going to predict the uh, Volt Switch or the uh, Thunderbolt. So I think I'm going to switch out into my Gudra. Take whatever damage he wants to do on me now. I'm, um, yeah, either the Volt Switch or the Hidden Power of Fire. Because he might predict me to switch out into my, uh, no, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I battled Magnazone a few times. It's not like a whole crap load. Come on, make your move, make your move, make your move, da-da-da-da. Okay, so you actually, oh, a light screen set, huh. 
Well, that's an interesting set to carry. Okay. Um, I'm going to go for Fire Blast. I've never seen a Reflect and Light Screening. Actually, no. I don't does, I don't even know if he has Reflect yet. He might. Um, but I, I've never seen a Light Screen and I miss Fire Blast. Fantastic, guys. Fantastic. We are in good hands. So he switches out into his Noivern. Oh, boy. I have an idea. He might go for a Dragon-type attack. I don't want to switch into a Zoomerol because I think... <sighs> I don't really know what I should do here in a case like this. Um, it could potentially have a, a Dragon-type attack, and I think the switch into a Zoomerol would be too obvious. I forget like what this thing carries, but I think I'm just gonna switch into a zoom roll anyways, just to see like what he can do to me. Boom burst, eek! That actually did a lot of damage. Okay, so I have a feeling that I'm gonna need him for later, so I'm gonna switch out again into my Tyranitar. He goes for boom burst again. That didn't really do much damage. I think uh, uh, this is my Mega Tyranitar. So instead of just straight off going for a, uh, a Dragon Dance, I'm immediately just going to go for a Stone Edge. Or, you know, or sh should I go for a Dragon Dance? I don't know if I should go for a Dragon Dance or not. <coughs> Could go for the Dragon Dance, but then again, he also might have like a really powerful attack. So I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge. Forget it. So now he switches into his Guilty Spark. I go for Stone Edge. I do pull off the damage, luckily. Him switching out here must mean that he might have Flash Cannon or something, so... Out into Gudra once again. Gudra's actually about to die to toxic damage. Yeah, um, Gudra is about to is about to die here. So that is pretty unfortunate right now. Um, I'm just going to go for a Dragon Pulse. Okay, so now his Guilty Spark is gone. Now Gudra's down, unfortunately, but that is okay. Um, I don't know what Pokemon he plans on bringing out, but I think he might bring in Breloom. I think I'm just going to bring in Infernape this, to scout whatever he's going to do. That way I can just go for a uh, U-turn on everything. <clears throat> so let's see what he's got. Come on, dude. Did my computer freeze or... Is everything okay? Okay, cool. Never mind. I was like, what the hell is going on here? Alright, so he swaps into Ed, his Dawn fan. Uh, I do outspeed it with Choice Scarf. I think I'm just going to go straight for a Grass Knot. I uh, wonder if it actually KO. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to look up a Dawn fan special defense really, really quick on my phone. Give me a real quick second, guys. Anyways, uh, while we wait... um. I hope you guys enjoy uh, my Leaf Green Randomizer. It's uh, it's going to be a pretty cool series. Um, and uh, you guys have an opportunity to pick my starter. You guys are going to be, uh, I think you guys will be pretty intrigued by the kind of starters that we get. It is randomized, so I mean, you never really know like, which one you get. But I mean, these guys, guys, these are actually, actually good starters. Good starters you know, you know, my first time. First time. Ever do, ever do a, 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 a roll randomizer, not a roll randomizer, randomizer, a, a, a leaf green, leaf green randomizer. randomizer, and and I've never, I've never really done any, anything randomized in general, because you know I'm still kind of new to this whole entire thing. And yeah, you know I'm still trying to get experience with it. You guys have been awesome feedback to me so far, and it's just been absolutely fantastic what you guys have been doing. Okay, so his base special defense is. 60. I'm just going to go for the Grass Knot. This should do enough damage. Oh my god, he actually survived. But he actually goes for Rapid Spin, which is no big deal. That was a good play on his part. Eek, yeah. I didn't think that Grass Knot was actually going to be able to... Um, He must have a HP EVs invested in. If he would have gone for Earthquake and somehow survived that, I would have been dead. Oh man, I didn't think I'd actually be able to get that KO. So that was really, really lucky on my half that he went for uh, his uh, rapid spin. So now he goes back out into his uh, wheezing. 
I'm going to head out into Tyranitar. So I have a feeling that the pain split's going to be coming. So you know what? A zoomer will switch in. Because I know that these things like to carry a uh, pain split. So let's see. I, I've, I do have a really strong feeling that he's going to pick pain split. Only because, you know, like he's weak. Infernape has really, really, you know, it, it, it ha has higher HP. And uh, <coughs> Weezing can't really touch it, to be honest. So, we, oh, he actually goes for Sludge Bomb. Okay. I was predicting the pain split, but that, that's, that's no big deal there. Now we have Espeon out. And um, immediately, I'm going to try out this strategy to see how it works. I'm immediately just going to go for Calm Mind, or should I go for Substitute? I think I'm actually going to go for... Um, I don't know. Calm Mind would be pretty useful. Were, yeah, he actually says it was a misclick. Were you going for pain split? I because I, I had a feeling he was going to go for pain split, so I think he uh, he misclicked and accidentally pressed uh, sludge bomb. So <coughs> that's rather unfortunate. Okay, so here is my he, here is my take on the situation right now. His wheezing um, is pretty high HP. I think that he's going to want to use it for later, just in case, you know, like to wall stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, is, you know, just to be safe, I think I'm going to go for a substitute. And he might switch out into his uh, more than likely... Oh, looks like I got a Skype message. I have a feeling that he's going... Oh, flamethrower. Okay. His wheezing carries Dark Pulse. Wow. Um, I did not know that. Okay, so change of plans, guys. It looks like we're going to uh, switch out to Tyranitar. Dark Pulse again. It doesn't do jack shit to Tyranitar. Um, <clears throat> now, what can he really do to me here? Um, I'm just going to go for Dragon Dance. And just try and set up on this stupid thing. Toxic, okay, no big deal on this. Rather unfortunate, actually. Um, what can I go for here? I'm going to be greedy, and I'm going to go for one more Dragon Dance. I don't know if it's, if it's just like being greedy, or um, just the fact that I want to try and get damage off on this thing. Okay, so Toxic's going to, you know, take its toll one more time on me. I need to get this wheezing off the field, even if Tyranitar does die. It's no big deal. So now I'm just going to go for a crunch on it. And down goes the Smoker, a.k.a. the wheezing. And I am about to die. I might actually be able to get some damage off on this thing. He might actually carry Protect. Yeah, I figured as much as he was going to carry Protect. So now down goes my Tyranitar, unfortunately. That's okay. I'm going to set up Skarmory. <clears throat> Put my rocks up again for the... Because uh, I have a feeling that that's stupid. Um, whatchamacallit. Noivern, yeah, that, that was what it was called. So I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. This thing, he he's not really even going to be able to touch me anymore. Because I, I'm still at pretty good HP. So now, I'm going to go for a Brave Bird. Even if he does go for another close combat, he's not going to be able to really do much damage to me. Plus, not to mention, the uh, defense drops really, really impacted him from the close combat. So now, this is actually looking to be a really, really close battle. I'm going to go out into my... Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> he still has his Noivern and his Breloom left. I could easily go actually the rocks are up thankfully i could go into espion and try getting up some calm lines i think that's actually what i'm going to do uh basically espion's just there to stall time or wait a minute um forget it forget it forget it forget it infernape infernape is definitely the better pick in this case so i'm going to switch out into my infernape i have my reasons why and it fucking defaults me to espion uh, uh, uh of course it does. Okay. 
So going to go for Calm Mind. Boom Burst, yeah, that's not really going to do... That's screwed me over pretty good. So now I'm going to go for Sword Power. Yeah, he outsped me. So now what I'm going to do here is, is I do carry HP Ice on Infernape. Going to go for HP Ice on it. Down goes the Noivern. And his uh, Breloom should go down. He might actually be able to survive one Hidden Power Ice. He goes for Mock Punch, and he actually takes me down. And uh, that was the battle. That was a really, really good battle. No joke. Even if I were to have swapped out into Infernape first. I don't know. Maybe if I would have swapped into Infernape first, I wonder what have, what have, would have actually happened. If I would have gone for Hidden Power Ice, I would have taken it down. Yeah. What would have happened? Alright, guys. I don't really know like what would have happened if I would have stuck in with Espeon. But I, that's pretty much going to end off to today's episode, guys, of Battle Your Subs. I'm Mr. Gumbrand 94 and if you guys enjoyed this episode of Battle Your Subs, be sure to fan-talk the like button and subscribe. I will see you guys later.